everyone, it's Miss Judy, and today's class we're going to take a look at the number three with our three apples. So we know the first number bond that we can create is with a zero. So we have a zero and a three. So we put the zero and the three into our number bond to show the left part and the right part. Now we take a look again at our three apples. And what other numbers can we make with the three apples? Well, let me put a check mark to the first apple. So we know we have a one. So let's write down a number one. And then I'll put a check mark for the next one. That's the two. And the next one, that's the three. So we have two apples remaining. So we have a one that goes on the left side of the number bond and a two that goes on the right side of the number bond. Now if we have a 1 and a 2, that means we can also have a 2 and a 1. So let me just erase what I had in there before and replace that with the new information. So our new number bond is a 2 and a 1. And the last number bond we can make is we had a 0 and a 3. Well, if we had a 0 and a 3, that means we can have a number bond that's a 3 and a 0. We just switch the numbers. So let's draw that on the number bond. Let me just erase what I had there before that I forgot to erase. And also let me get rid of this one over here. And now let me replace this with the correct information, which would be a number three on the left side and a zero on the right side. So for the number three, we were able to make three, four different number bonds. What we're going to do now is we're going to see what they look like again as actual number bonds instead of, instead of just looking at the apples. <laughs> So we have four number bonds that we have to fill out. So we have a zero and a three. Then we have a one and a two. And then the next number bond, we have a two, right? There we go, a two and a one. And our last one is a three and a zero. And oh, I lost my hole. There should be a three there. So let me put the three for we know what our hole is for that. So the number three, we have three, we came up with four number bonds for the number three. Now, what does this mean in terms of the math fact or the addition facts? Well, we know that when we add a zero plus the number one, plus the number three, sorry, we get a three, which is the whole. We also learned that when we do a one plus two, that also equals the number three. Now one plus one, we can do two plus one because of the commutative factor of ad addition where we can switch the numbers around and it'll still give us the same amount. Then we have a three plus zero equals, equals the number three. So for the number three, we have four different ways that we're able to get to the number three. Welcome everyone, it's Miss Judy. We're on the fours. So now we have four apples. So we know we can start with a zero and a number four. So we add that to the number bond. On the left side, we put a zero, and on the right side, we put the number four. Let's go back to our apples, and I'm going to put a check mark by the first apple. So there's one apple, and then we now have three apples remaining. So that's our next number is a three. So we write down the number one on the left side and the number three on the right side of our number bond. 
Uh, let's go back to the four apples again and see what else we can do. I have one and two. So that's our next number. I'll put, let's write the number two. And then let's go back to the apples. We have one and two. That's two again. So our number bond has a two on the left side and a two on the right side. And let's look at the apples again and see if we can come up with anything else. So let's see, uh, we have one, then we have two, then we have three. So that's three apples. So let's put down a number three and we have one apple. So there's our number one. And we go to the number bond and we can put the three and the one. And the three and the one, it's similar to the one and the three that we did earlier. It's just in different locations. So our last number bond is a four and a zero. So we put the four in the left side and the zero on the right side. So for the number four, we came up with five different ways to do the number bonds for the number four. So now let's write these down as separate number bonds with the four as the whole. We know we have a zero and we have the number four. Then we have the number one and then we have the number three. The next number bond is a two and another two on the right side of that number bond. Then the next number bond, we have the number three and we have the number one. And the last number bond, we have the number four and then we have the number zero. Five number bonds that make up the number four. So now what does this mean in terms of addition facts for the number four? Well, we know that when we add a zero plus the number four, that gives us the whole of the number four. The next addition fact we know is one plus three equals four. Then we also know that two plus two equals four. And we also know that three plus one equals four, and that's because one plus three equals four. Using the commutative property, we can change it to three plus one. And four plus zero equals four, which is like zero plus four. Again, the commutative property of addition, we can change the numbers. Two plus two, that's a special number. That's called a double because you're adding the number to itself like we did when we did the ones. So two plus two equals four.